hi people welcome to my channel once again and if you're watching me on instagram welcome to my igtv so today i'm doing a two-in-one video a compressed video both for youtube and instagram and that's because it is tba tuesday tips special and it is special because i won't be talking about anything fashion related i am going to be talking about face masks and that is because in Nigeria in some parts of Nigeria the lockdown has been eased and people have resumed to work yesterday and it is so important that we take hygiene precautions so that we don't um, contract the coronavirus so last week I posted something randomly on my Instagram feed and I was talking about how most people like me don't know how to put on the mask how to to go through the day with the mask because I tried it I did a rehearsal and I was just trying to express the discomfort, the effort that goes into it, how you can sweat. It is not easy. I don't know how people do it, like the medical guys, I don't know how. But I got a lot of responses and people were talking about the way I was handling the face mask and how everything just, it just defeats the entire purpose of wearing a face mask, the way I was handling it. And I figured, okay. And some of my doctor friends, nurses commented and they gave their tips and I decided that, okay, today we are going to learn together because i'm also learning we are going to learn how to wear a face mask and how to remove a face mask properly okay so the first thing is we all know what face masks are so i'm going to be using i picked out one i'm going to be using this one i have touched it a lot so definitely i'm dis, i'm disposing after this video but i want to use it to demonstrate how we are supposed to wear our face mask and I have my notes here so that I don't miss out any points and um, yeah so basically we all know what these face masks are you know we are using it to prevent ourselves from getting droplets that fall from when people are talking sneezing coughing and you know germs are in those droplets and we don't want to contract whatever it is anybody has so it's a preventive measure also if you are sick it is also good for you to wear a face mask so that you reduce the number of gems that you disseminate out there so basically that is what face masks are for so the first thing you want to know how to do is to determine which side of the face mask is the front facing side okay and there are different theories of oh you should wear the colored side in if you are if you have the virus or you should wear the colored side the whiter part out and all of that but i actually found out that there's no such thing as that the colored side should be worn out you can also do your research, but that is what I found. The colored side should be worn out. And that's because this outer layer is hydrophobic, which means it repels fluid. I'm trying to speak some medical things right now. <laughs> While the inner layer absorbs moisture because the air we breathe contains moisture. And these medical guys, I'm always calling them medical guys, <laughs> say there's a typical middle layer that filters bacteria so regardless of whatever it is that people say whether you have the virus you wear one part out you can do your readings as well but what I have found is there's just one way to wear your face mask okay another thing is we need to determine which okay I've said we should determine which part of the face mask is the front facing side also when you take your if you're using this type of face mask there is a part of it that has this iron um thing it is bendable this part so the side that has this is just at the top here is the part that you should place over your nose okay so you want to determine we have this we have determined the side of the mask that is in front the colored side is usually the front and it should face away from you while the out the white side should touch your face if you are buying a face mask in a box you will want to read the product instructions because we have different face masks we have those that come with air loops this one is air loop i don't know if you can see it and there are some that come with rope where you can tie and there are some with bands so the first thing is whenever you want to pick out a face mask from the box make sure your hands are clean you wash your hands or you sanitize okay so you make sure you sanitize you wash your hands your hands should be clean before you dip your hand into the box to take the face mask when you have done that with the air loops when you want to put it on you use the 
air loops to put it on okay if it is the one with a band you use the band if it's the one with a rope you use the rope to put it on so typically you would not put your face mask down and take it like this that is you if i just throw this i have to throw this entire face mask away already because i have touched it a lot and i don't know what my hands have i don't know what germs my hands have already taken okay so you want to use this side to put on your face mask okay see gosh it is so uncomfortable <laughs> i don't know i'm supposed to adjust it guys i don't understand this thing <laughs> ah and also when you want to take it out i hope you can still hear me you use this to also take it out okay and immediately you dispose and wash your hands don't ever like ever ever <laughs> take out your face mask and don't wash your hands or sanitize your hands so it is advised that before you remove your face mask that you wash your hands i don't even understand why clean your hands with soap and water before touching the mask okay before touching and when you want to remove you don't touch the body of the mask you touch the loop okay because this entire body could have been contaminated that is why so and immediately you are done you throw it in the trash this is going to the trash already you throw it away so that is about it but i want us to be so conscious and now we have fabric face mask different face masks that we have been seeing and I just want you to whatever it is whatever face mask you're buying i want you to be able to um, ascertain that it is protecting you and i found that there are two ways that you can test if that face mask is doing what it's supposed to do so number one is the fire quenching test where you put on a lighter so you wear your face mask as i'm wearing my face this face mask guys pray for me <laughs> so you're <laughs> So you're wearing your face mask i hope you can still hear me and then you get a lighter or a candle wow you put on a lighter and blow air through the face mask and if the lighter or the candle goes off then you know that that face mask is doing nothing absolutely nothing so if you put on a face mask any type of face mask at all and it is not um you blow air through it and your the fire goes off then that face mask is not protecting you from anything it doesn't matter how fancy it is it doesn't matter how expensive it is another thing is you can go test your face mask in the laboratory i hear there is enough duct test you can do to ascertain that your face mask is actually doing the work that it is supposed to do i want to enjoin you guys please as you are going out I know you can practically wash your hands every minute but please don't go anywhere without your hand sanitizers and when you're touching surfaces doorknobs um, tables windows sanitize your hand like every every chance you get sanitize your hands please guys and as you're going out this week also make sure you wear a face mask i think it's even part of the lagos um regulations for you to put on a face mask so please get yourself a face mask that can protect you and that is about it from me today thank you so much for watching if you're not following me on instagram you can do so it is at tyf's beauty house and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so by clicking the subscribe button on the cbh the king's shopper and till i come your way next week it is bye for now